And we're back. And today we're starting a new RimWorld playthrough. We're doing the bog standard crash landed. We're going to stick with Cassandra. This will become obvious why we're doing that later. We're going to go with losing his fun and commitment mode. And we're probably going to die. I, I'm not really holding a lot of hope here. Uh, the 25. Actually, no, I hold out a bit of hope. There's always hope. We're going to go with a map seed of the 25. Everything else will be left as normal. We are not going to mess with any of the settings. This is going to be a bog standard straight up playthrough. What we're trying to do here is sort of run through. Oh, there's all the mother money. Uh, we're going to try and run through here on a standard playthrough and see if we can get it better with each run. So I have looked through this map before and I think the best place to start would be right about here. Uh, the reason being we've got marble, we've got granite, we've got a pretty decent growing period. It's not perfect, but the reason I've picked a non-perfect growing place is right beside us here we have a good trading partner who can trade us decent stuff, hopefully. And nearby we have a second trading partner. This one can of course be turned into a trading partner, but we don't care about tribals to be honest. And there's the third one down here all connected via roads. Now, oh, one thing to realize about roads, if roads, roads are to give the bonus to travel. So, for example, if you just travel through a piece of temperate forest, you get a movement of one. If there's a road on it, it gives a 0.5 bonus. That 0.5 bonus, though, it, it's just a bonus. It doesn't mean it's flat. So if you pass through some temperate forest mountains, you're, you're going to get slowed down again and your movement speed goes down to 1.3 instead of 0.5. So we're not going to have perfect speed across here, but it will be better than we were, well, better than having no roads at all. Yeah, so we'll choose that and then we get all of these pawns to choose from. Now, the whole point of this playthrough is you can't randomize. I have to actually pick out of these six starting pawns. And I, I went through a few map seeds to see what would be a good selection to start with because I want to try this again every so often and just like go through and see if we can't improve the playthrough. So all six of the, all of these pawns are tied to the map seed. I don't know if you've tried that yourself, but if you use the same map seed, you'll get the same pawn, six or same starting pawns to choose from. So we're going to pick, well, I'm going to pick the best pawns, I think, for a good start. And then we'll see how that works out. I'm to introduce you to Mr. Picard. They're a good shooter, good at construction, planting and social. They're a careful shooter with a great memory and a little bit neurotic, which will improve their work speed, but give them a little bit of a weaker mental break threshold. They also have a bit of a caffeine or wake up addiction going on, but you know, they'll get over that. They'll be fine. Then we've got Cisco. They, uh, they can't do cleaning or hauling, but they're trigger happy and nimble. Always good ones. Shooting, crafting, medical, social, and intellectual will be their pursuits of choice. In fact, I think there are only intellectual, so they will be doing all of our research. Then we've got Janeway over here. Janeway was, well, my main reason for picking these two people here was I wanted the shooting on them. I want people with shooting because if you don't have it, you're probably dead. I would have liked to have a third shooter, but we needed someone to fill in for animals, planting, and cooking. And they pretty much cover all of those really well. They've also got a bit of melee going on. They've got some medical. So we've got two people with decent medical. Uh, or is it? Uh, yeah. So we've got Cisco with medical and Janeway with medical. Always good to have two doctors, just in case one of them goes down. And they've also got a bit of social on them as well. Not the worst thing in the world. We're, we're going to need that social to start recruiting people. In fact, all of them, if you'll notice, have social. So uh, it wasn't the worst choice in the world. However, the chemical fascination is going to be a problem. They will end up having drug binges and... Mm, yeah, well... There, there have to be some compromises on every start you do. This here is all of the mods that I'm running. None of them affect game balance. If you have any suggestions for mods that don't affect game balance, perfect, throw them into the comments and I'll have a look. But I, I just, uh, I want to try and play this as vanilla as possible and then see how well we can do just starting off with the basics. Okay, we've got a fox to start. All right, it's a fox. Great. Uh, uh, this is the whole map. We've got, wow, that's a lot of water pockets. That's going to mess with building. And uh, let's have a quick look at the overlays. Toggle fertility. Ooh, we got a few nice spots. All right, first things first, though. We need to set up uh, an area to... Uh, a storage area or an area to put all our people for sleeping at night so they're not sleeping out in the open and getting a massive morale debuff. Uh, first thing you should probably do in all of these is just allow everything. Unforbid all the items. There's a bunch of other random stuff scattered about the map. Um, meals, things like that. Oh, I should probably have found those all before I X them, un -X them. But yeah, there's lots of random stuff scattered around the map that are to do with your starting stuff. You, If you just do allow all, it gets rid of all of that immediately. I'm thinking we're probably going to put our first area over here and we'll put our crops over here. Let me do a quick bit of thinking. To start off, everyone's going to need to get some weaponry on them. Uh, Cisco, where are you going? Holding wood? Oh yeah, they're going to build stuff. Um, I've got Picard picking up the pistol. I've got Cisco picking up the rifle. They're going to be our designated hunter. And Janeway is getting the helmet and the plasteel knife. Uh, uh, they're all going to head over here and start building up our our first room. We're going to build one big room and have everyone stay in it. And Picard, why are you chopping down that tree? Ah, uh, you're chopping down that tree because you want to make room for the wall. That's fine. Uh, Janeway should immediately going around to cutting. And why are you cutting down the lines? Oh, 
yeah, I was uh, checking to see what I could grow there. You get back to work. Uh, perfect. Well, that's all going on. Let's explain the actual theme of what's happening here. Now, uh, oh, we want to hire 25 pawns. That's pretty much the end goal. Hire 25 pawns, build a ship, get off the planet. For every pawn that makes it off alive, you gain one point. For every pawn that uh, dies, well, you don't gain that point, I'm afraid. Uh, you also have 25 seasons to do it in. So, for every season under 25 it takes you to get off the planet, you gain a point. And for every pawn that survives, you gain a point. So there's a potential to gain 50 points, assuming you could launch the ship in less than one season with 25 pawns. Which, yeah, that's not going to happen. Now, all 25 pawns don't have to survive. For example, if you've hired 15 pawns and two of them die, you've still hit the number 15 and you still just keep going on as normal. So if someone dies, they die, you lose the point. You can only hire a maximum of 25 people in the entire playthrough. And you already start with three, so it's not going to be great. And you know what, let's uh, speed this along a little bit. And that's pretty much the guts of it. Hire 25 people and get off the planet and try and score as many points as you can while you're doing it. A few things to note, you can't activate the ship engine before you've hired all 25 pawns and then, you know, hire the 25 pawns afterwards or the, the full amount. You have to have your 25 pawns first before you activate the ship engine. So the theory here is we're going to have to take a while to, uh, well, we're going to have to carefully balance how quickly we're, oh, you know what, you can stop doing that. We're going to have Janeway take care of that tree because, you know, she's actually good at it and you can go back to doing something else like construction. So we have to balance how quickly we hire new pawns and, well, not just how quickly we hire them, we need to make sure we have enough weaponry to keep them all equipped. Otherwise, we hire too quickly, we're going to get swamped and destroyed. So what we're doing here is we're just building ourselves one big room to store everyone in. Now you see I've set up this sort of grid system. These grids are, I think it's 18, yeah, it's 18 wide, as in this direction here is 18, and then there's 17. So it's 17 uh, by 18. I used to do 17 by 17 grids, but we're going to make it 18 wide so we can fit in more solar panels and stuff later on. But all we're doing here is we're going to have this as sort of a standardized grid pattern, and then we cut out things as we need them. For example, if we don't want bedrooms in here, we can replace it with a hospital and a cooking area, or we can turn it into a storage area or a cooking area. Everything is going to be designed to fit inside one of these 17 by 18 rooms. Everything. Even our greenhouses. So we are almost finished on the first day. You know what? Uh, Prior is working on that wooden bed. I want that done before the end of the night. If everyone gets a, a bed, that would be great. Janeway, how are you doing? Yeah, they're going to bed. We're going to have a sort of a... Little, oh, construction botched. Damn it, Picard, what's your skill level? Ah, okay, you'll be getting there in a minute. You're at level four. I think they were started at level three, so they'll get there pretty quickly. It's the end of the first night, and I think we did pretty well. Oh, yeah, well, sort of well. What's this room look like? I don't think that's uh, awful, mediocre, very spacious, ugly, dirty barracks. Oh, yeah, impressiveness five. Also, as well as that, the uh, there's a little bit of space missing in the middle. We're probably going to want to put in one piece of wall segment or a pillar just to uh, the roof in the middle if we check here. Yeah, there's a little bit of roofing space missing. We can sort that out, though. On the next morning, we're going to have Janeway start up on, you know... Oh, what are you doing, Jenny? Oh, you just grabbed a meal. Uh, we're going to have her starting on planting. Now, I have always sworn that I would plant potatoes and nothing but potatoes. So, yeah, yeah, we're just going to go with more potatoes. I know it's not the best use of our resources. We could get rice would be a far better idea in there. But no, no, potatoes it is. We're Irish and potatoes all the way just because stereotypes are the way we're going. Before this goes any further, though, I'm going to have Picard here haul in all of the food, medicine, all of that stuff. We want to get that safely into storage so it stops degrading. Janeway can stay on planting. She's the best at it, and there's no point having Picard helping out. Picard is actually pretty good at the planting. Oh, let me see why we turned that off. What's their skill again? It was, uh, yeah, plants four. So they'll learn really well at that. So construction and planting will be their main, and they'll do a bit of social at the same time. Uh, let's uh, skip this forward a little bit more while we get some more things done. I'm having Cisco here hammer this area out because I think this is probably going to become our kitchenette area. Now that we've got all of that safely stowed away, what we're going to do is we're going to wall in our crops. When we do get attacked, we're going to want to make sure our crops are safely protected. Also, we want to stop animals from coming along and eating them. Uh, then we're going to want to get ourselves a kitchen so we can start cooking food. And, oh, we're going to want to get ourselves up some refrigeration as well so we can start throwing some of the many, many animals that are around the map. And if Janeway ever gets a moment and some berries, she can go uh, tame some animals for us. Which reminds me, where are those berries? You know what, let's grab all of them and uh, get them hauled. With the inside of our base secured, I think it's time we got ourselves some stone going on. What have we got for marble chunks around here? Ah, oh, plenty of marble. Perfect. Marble is one of the better ones. It's not great for protecting you from damage, but it is a very beautiful. So let's make sure we do until you have X. And let me see here. All right, a thousand marble bo blocks queued up. We might switch that to using any blocks that are available later on. But for now, oh man, you know what? We can get rid of those. I think what we'll do is we will have, yeah, we'll make our zone for storing them over here somewhere. 
That's probably a better idea. Uh, then we can get rid of the other se well, sections over here. I know it's not going to be great for decor, but yeah, I don't care. I just don't care. Cisco is currently on a shooting binge. Are they looking like it? Level five. They'll eventually get up good enough. Now I could disable them from holding the animals back. There's tricks you can do, but I don't want to. I kind of want them to hold the animals back. Oh, and that means we're going to get Janeway here. She should currently be on a, a holding binge. And once they've hauled in all of the, oh, and training. We want to, or taming. We want to get ourselves some pack animals. Trading is going to be absolutely vital for moving quickly at this game. Our first event so far, and it's a visitor. Let's see what they've got on them. Hopefully something worth trading for, like a gun. Nope, nothing. Well, doesn't matter. We probably don't have enough money yet anyway. Uh, where are you? Oh, there's our tree. That's the meditation tree. The anima tree. That is... Oh, I don't think there's really a great location for them, no matter what you do, considering how much space they need. Oh, please tame the donkey. Come on, donkey. Join us. Join us. No? Tame chance 78%. Oh, tame failed. Oh, well. Right, let's uh, finish this up and get ourselves some more, uh, get ourselves some stone chunks. I'm going to have to rework our work schedule here. I've currently got it set up this way, but it probably could do with some modifications. Actually, you know what? Considering we only have three people to work with, this is probably as good as it's going to get. Um, Picard is generally doing the hauling and the cleaning right now because there's no construction to be done. Cisco is doing a lot of hunting and Janeway is out taming people. And why is she so unhappy? You'll see I've got the color coded mood bards up here. Mood bars. Serious pain? Why is she? Ah, bite scar, painful. Wow. Okay, that's going to be a problem. She's got a minus 10 constantly. Well, that's going to suck. I think, well, in that case, we're going to have to improve rooms. We're going to have to give Janeway a good one right now before she starts having mental breaks. That means, hmm, you know what? We'll put her over here. Uh, we will give her a quick room. We'll move her bed over there. So several things have come to my attention all at once. Uh, the first one is Picard here. I was wondering why they weren't getting uh, negatives. They should have been getting a negative from withdrawal from their wake-up addiction. Turns out they spawn with wake-up on them. I had no idea that they did. I didn't think they, they would actually spawn with wake-up. Right, so we need to get them weaned off wake-up sooner rather than later. We're better off doing it now while we've got the extremely low expectations buff. Later on, that's going to become worse and worse. So we're probably going to want to get them a room. Hmm. I think now that they've dosed themselves, they've actually dosed themselves a wake up and it's going to last for 11 hours, which means they they've no sleepy chance. Uh, also, it gives them a chance of having a heart attack. So I'd rather they didn't have one of those. That would be very bad for us. So we're going to have them go immediately over here and trade with Dragon and sell it all, assuming Dragon wants it. Now, Cisco over here has also managed to max out their shooting skill for the day. Uh, their learning multiplier is, is basically 20%. So they're only going to get 20% of the experience they would. So there's no point wasting their time doing that when they could be doing other chores. So we're going to Remove them from hunting for now. Uh, they're probably going to go straight to the bed. What else has they've got under their uh, stone cut and stuff like that? We need to keep an eye on them tomorrow. And the moment they max out their hunting skill, we stick them back on stone cutting so they can start getting us marble blocks. Uh, but first, let's see if uh, Picard can sell this wake up. Damn it, they don't want to buy the wake up. Uh, that's a bit of a pity. Maybe I need to have them. Ah, I probably need to have it in storage, do I? All right, so I dropped the wake up into our storage pile. Now we should be able to sell it to them. Yep. Sorry, Picard, you're about to have a really, really bad week. Right, anything else we want to sell? To, uh, what do you want to, anything we want to buy? No, I don't think they have anything really worthwhile. The pemmican's good, but you know what? We've got so many animals around the place, I think we'll be good. Now, Picard, what are you going to do for the rest of the day? I think you're going to haul a bunch of wood. Just take, just haul as much of that as you can, would you? You're doing us a favor. We want that all into storage so we can at least get some, uh, some construction going on. One of the good things about Wake Up is Picard is just going to keep going all night long. Look at, look at him. Running around like a nut job. Okay, they're probably going to have all this construction finished before they even need to go to bed. Their rest meter is maxed. Let's just hope they don't stroke out on us. Next day, we're going to have Picard finish off all the construction here. Uh, Janeway is currently out harvesting more wood so we can actually do this. And Cisco is back on the hunting binge. We want to train up their shooting skill. Also, well, you know, they're bringing us back lots of animals, which we can chop up and start turning into clothing. Uh, I would like to get some dusters going on just for the extra protection it would provide. Wow, things move fast this early on. I'd forgotten how fast it goes. Uh, Cisco already maxed out their shooting for the day. Well, we don't need any more animals then, so we can simply, yeah, tell them to stop hunting. Cisco, come back home and you can start making some more uh, bricks for us. Picard has managed to finish most of the construction around here and is going to finish up the hauling. Uh, we're going to need all that wood back inside. Crop-wise, we're still a mile away, but we can... We can start actually pu putting out food. We've got enough animals here that we can start butchering them over here and then start cooking them up over there. Janeway, though, has been doing some taming and we now have two alpacas. 
So those two alpacas can, you know, graze wherever they want, and they're going to be great for doing trade caravans the moment we get something worth trading, which I think is going to be us growing an awful, awful, awful lot of drugs. Though we're going to need research for that. So we need to get research up and running so that we can start researching drugs. But first, I just want to finish the bedrooms. Once we finish the bedrooms, I think we'll be in a much better position, especially considering, well, the withdrawal and the, pa the pain of Janeway and the withdrawal of Picard. A mad raccoon. Is this our first attack? Or is it? Okay, well, uh, who's got guns? You two? Perfect. Let's uh, let's go take care of this raccoon, shall we? Hopefully this should be quick. Janeway can stay at home for now. Oof. You will stay right there, Picard. Oh, never mind. You can both go back to work. That was... Good job. Good job, both of you. That was actually quite easy. I was about, thought I was going to have to start running someone around in circles. Uh, food. Time to start cooking up some meals. Now that we've started butchering meat, uh, Picard... No, go away. You know what? We're going to make sure that only Janeway does this. Uh, as far as I'm aware, no one else is set to cooking, but better safe than sorry. We're going to queue up some simple meals here. Now, I've set up the simple meals so that we'll cook 12, and then once 12 are cooked... They will unpause at 6. So 12 will be cooked once 12 have been achieved. Janeway will stop cooking and won't start cooking again until we're down to 6. Uh, we're going to decrease that radius as well. Yeah, quite a bit. There. Perfect. Uh, oh, I might want to do the same with this. Otherwise, they might start uh, going all over the world for sport. Ingredient radius. Yeah, let's go down a bit. There. There we go. Oh, and we'll give that, uh, say, yeah, unpause at... 800? No, 600. 600 is fine. Once you get to 600 stone, you can start again. Though, honestly, we're going to be sending you out every day to mo do mostly shooting until you can uh, until you can get that stat up nice and high. Yeah, I think this is going fairly well so far. Janeway's got her own bedroom, but it's not great. Uh, it's dull, so she won't really get much of a bonus out of it. Everyone else has got awful... This barracks-type scenario is not the worst. If you're in a barracks, you get an instant minus three for sleeping in a barracks. Uh, who slept in a barracks last night? All right, here we go. Awful barracks. Wow. Slept in the barracks and it was awful. That's uh, terrible. Also, their sleep is disturbed, so that's minus 10. The main reason to get rid of the barracks is so that you don't have to worry about the disturbed sleep. The minus 7 you can get away with by making the place, you know, at least decent. But the minus 3 for the disturbed sleep, that's just when people move in and out, or even animals. That's one of the reasons I don't let animals into the bedrooms of my uh, pawns. It will disturb their sleep and mess things up. But right now, we can make some simple meals, and I'm doing a little experiment. I was advised that if you just leave the room as dirty, at minus one, you will not get any food poisoning, assuming the chef is good enough, and Janeway is good enough. However, because it's dirt, you can't drag any dirt in here, and it can't get any dirtier, and since you, if you don't go below minus one in cleanliness, you won't get food poisoning from a, a, a dirty cooking area. That's the theory. So we are going to leave that as just dirt, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really curious, to be honest. And it's time to name the faction. Hmm... Let's go with the 25. Yeah, why not? The 25. It'll work out. Uh, what should we call the settlement? You know what? Defiant. That's going to be the name of the settlement is Defiant. That should... Uh, that seems mildly appropriate considering we've got uh, Picard, Cisco, and Janeway here. Why not? Uh, uh, currently our animal... Or was it... Yeah, animal taming has gone quite well. We've got one donkey and two alpacas. I prefer if we had more donkeys, but, you know, alpacas are not the worst. Plus, they'll give us some wool we can turn into clothing later on. Uh, Janeway should be, has made us enough meals. I've banned the consumption of the packaged survival meals. We'll keep those as an emergency source. And so far, no one's gotten food poisoning, which I'm kind of surprised. If you can just cook food on a dirt floor and not get food poisoning, that seems a little bit broken. Next up, we're going to put in some power and we're going to put in some um, cooling. We're going to put a, an electric cooler right there. We're going to put a vent through there. That should allow us to chill. Oh, Picard, are you going to take a break now? I mean, just, could you, could you finish that? You're our best, you know, no, no, Cisco. Cisco, go somewhere else. Go, go find something else to do because we don't want you building that. If you mess it up, it's an enormous loss of resources. Uh, so we'll put our wood fire generator here. We'll put our cooler right there, and then we'll just stick in a vent building to equalize the pressure between the two rooms. And that should hopefully give us cooling in these two areas and prevent any of our food from going off. Well, that's the theory. At the same time, how's our animals doing? Yeah, two alpacas and a donkey's tail. Damn it. I'll, I'll, I'll have to go get some more berries so that uh, Janeway can get back to that. And why are you meditating? Hmm. You know what? Since no one has any uh, psychic abilities, I think we might want to get rid of the meditation. Can't actually find an option to turn off meditate. Well, I've... One second. What I've done is I've changed their work schedule or their scheduling so that there's no meditation option and I got rid of anything. There used to be anything in there, but hmm. you know what? We'll have to see what happens. 
Ah, perfect. Uh, that just I just didn't want that left open, otherwise it was going to break the room bonus in there. Uh, the rest of it should be fine. Uh, let's see what the, the morning holds for us, shall we? Oh, Cisco over here, why are you roofing that in? You shouldn't be roofing that in. I thought I said everyone to ignore a roof area. Oh, yeah. When that broke the wall and then it was replaced, it decided everyone to start roofing again. Would appear one cooler is not enough even for an area this small. And raid. Okay. And never mind. One person with a knife. Let's see what your bio looks like, buddy. Ah, gourmand. Mm, jogger. And kind. Great cooking skill. You could take over from Jinwei in that. All we gotta do is not kill you. Uh, could be tricky. Could be tricky. Uh, Cisco, you know what? You've got a good rifle, though your shooting skill is maxed out for the day. Which one of you is faster, Cisco or Picard? Picard has the better shooting skill and is a careful shooter. Cisco, though, is trigger happy. Hmm, the careful shooter or the trigger happy one? I think we're going to have to take them both. Uh, the reason being, this person is a jogger, so they've got a running speed of point, uh, 0.5. What I sort of want to do is tag them, get them to start bleeding, and once I know they're going to bleed out, just run them around in circles until they fall over. And But hopefully having injured them enough that it slowed them down, that one of our people can run around in circles. Once one of our people gets tired, we'll run them inside here and have someone else run out to act as bait. And then we should hopefully be able to make that work. Now, according to this, they are going to prepare for a while before they attack. So we'll just get prepared to finish that, and then I think we'll have them do that as well. Uh, Cisco can continue on, and then we'll go out and chase them in. Where is Janeway? Janeway was... Ah, they were on uh, hauling duty. They're still not very happy. That serious... Oh, chemical hunger as well. I'm fascinated by jugs. I want to experience them a lot harder. Okay. That's probably going to get worse as well. So she needs drugs. Damn it. We're going to have to like get her smoke leaf or something. That's going to be inconvenient. Okay. Eh. Uh, we'll sort something out for her later. First, we're going to concentrate on trying to capture this uh, pollen, if at all possible. All right, we've got our second cooler installed. That should hopefully bring the temperature down. That's currently at indoors is 30C. Well, okay, well, we just repaired the wall. Uh, Cisco, Picard, time to get out there and go nab ourselves a new recruit. We can stick them in the prison bed there for the time being. Assuming we're successful, we'll, we'll build them an actual proper extension. But for the time being, we're probably not... Our chances of actually capturing them are pretty slim. And even if we do capture them, they're tribal, which means they won't be recruited very easily. It's going to be a while before they become beneficial, which means we're just going to be feeding them. Yeah, I'm going to try and talk myself out of this. No, no. We're going to capture them, and we're going to see if we can't uh, recruit them to our side. And we're going to take some pot shots from a distance. Uh, Picard, you're going to go out to the side. I'm going to need the two of you to start running around in circles here. Oh, yeah. That's a hit. What do we got? Second left toe shot off. What's that going to do to their speed? No, nope, still a 4.8. That's actually pretty good. Uh, Picard can't run so much faster than them. Oh, keep running. Oh, a headshot. Well, that could be bad. Skull, bolt action. Okay, you're going to bleed out in eight hours. What is your movement speed at? 3.85. That is perfect. You know what? Cisco, you can... You know what? We'll actually just have Cisco run back and forth a bit just in case. We're going to see if Picard can keep out running them. Just to make sure that there's not some sudden magical thing where they're going to get really fast. No, there is not. Oh, yeah. What we will have Picard do is run around. And in the next eight hours, this person's going to drop. Probably in the next five or six. So Cisco, you can head back home. Get back to doing whatever you do. Oh, you're going to consume your simple meal there. No, no. Tell you what, just... Uh, fine. Consume your simple meal. <laughs> yeah, we'll have uh, Picard run... Then was it here, here, and then we'll sort of have them run back and forth outside the base. Uh, the reason we want them to do that is we want them close by when they pass out. Don't attack my donkey. Oh, they're not my donkeys yet. I haven't tamed them. What are they doing? Wandering? Eh, fair enough. You want to stay out there and bleed out? That's fine by me. Ah, that actually worked out quite well. They haven't decided to attack yet? Okay. Yeah, you just stand there and beat out, buddy. We'll uh, we'll we'll see how that works out for you. Oh, the tribes people are beginning their assault, are they? Yeah. Well, they better here put that assault. Or they're gonna be dead. Uh, uh, where was I? Ah, oh, yes, over here. I want to add an extra build to this. We need more marble blocks, faster, 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 faster. So we're going to make sure that Picard has that as an option as well on their work build. So Picard is now also going to be into stone cre creation. I'd forgotten how many bricks you need in this game. Eh, Janeway, where are you? Oh wow. 
Uh, your card. Yeah, I really do not like her stress levels. She is going to have a mental break. One of the minor ones, but that would still be very unpleasant. Oh, uh, Packers, we should probably bring you inside. You know what? Yes, we shall. I have a loading area built into the center here. That way I can bring in donkeys and stuff like that when I want to load and unload stuff. Yeah, I think we're going to have to send someone out to do some running around. Who's got the highest morale at the moment? Is that Picard? Picard should be going into withdrawal right about now. Whoa, wake up withdrawal. Yep, they're, they're going to be pretty useless for a while now. Uh, if we check on, where is it? Ah, uh, yes. Consciousness, movement, manipulation, talking, eating, all of that is through the floor. Oh, wow. They're going to be in a bad mood for a long time. Cisco, I'm afraid, you're going to have to carry the whole crew for a while. So off you go. You're going to be going on a bit of a run around. Well, Picard can chip away at some blocks. That'll be fine. They'll get over it. We'll have uh, Cisco over here. Oh, Janeway, you better get inside. Okay, we'll have this uh, Cisco provide interference for Lurcha. Yeah, until Lurcha passes out. Come on. You can chase me. I love the way Janeway's decided to go outside and do some stargazing while this is all happening. You do realize there's a crazy lunatic with a knife running around outside. I mean, there's a naked lunatic. Oh, no, don't, don't shoot at him. I want to capture him alive. Yeah, there's a naked lunatic running around outside with a knife. And Janeway's just like, yeah, I'm going to go out and do some stargazing. That seems like a reasonable time to do it. When are they going to bleed out? Four hours? Just passed out from blood loss already, you wuss. Oh, Janeway. Janeway, you're probably going to have to move shortly. Oh, come on. We'll have Cisco try and annoy them. No. Nope. Oh, you're set to flee. Yeah, yeah, perfect. If you can flee away, that would be great. Damn, one time when the AI is actually doing good for me. A door closes, and they should retarget on Cisco. Or they're just going to bleed out, whichever. All right, they finally, finally dropped. How many hours of life has got left in them? Three hours. Cisco, you've got medical, do you not? Uh, in fact, you may be our best medical at seven. What has everyone else got going on? Uh, your bio is three. Sorry, Janeway is six. Cisco is seven. Picard is a three. Not the worst. Uh, we're going to take them on there. Are we going to waste medicine on them? I think we might have to use just a little bit of medicine. Mm. You know what? Just uh, We will capture you. One more recruit this early on might not be the worst thing uh, if we can patch them up and save them. And what's Picard doing? Oh, playing horseshoes. Well, Picard, it's time for you to make another room. This time a prisoner room. Uh, Picard will get around to building that room in, in short order. It'll be fine. And you know what? We'll build it. Medical emergency. Of course there's a medical emergency. Uh, oh, wait, no. Do never, ever, ever put the beds all the way inside. You want to keep the beds close to the, the doors. Uh, yeah. And always make sure you keep the head of the bed away from the door. Just for no other reason than that's the way it should be. Cisco, what are you doing? Tending to Lorca. Where are you? Ah, you're going to get that medicine. You know what? We are going to be really nice because they are pretty close to death and we're going to give them good medicine because we want them to live. Uh, prioritize tending to them. Come on. Hurry up. Now, the one good thing about, well, the reason we only shot them and then ran away was if we kept shooting them, the odds are they'd just fall over and die. But by running around in circles after we'd wounded them enough to know that they were going to pass out or eventually run out of blood, just meant we were definitely able to get a chance at capturing them. It's just a little tricky way of recruiting people early on. Once you're faced with, you know, a large squad of seven or eight, you don't really have that choice. It's just too hard to arrange. But against a, a knife-wielding lunatic, yeah, pretty handy to start it that way. I think that's enough of the good medicine. We're going to switch you back to herbal. I think you're golden, right? What's your health at? Yeah, you'll survive. We'll just have to patch up your, your toe. All right, I think that's a good spot to end the first episode on. Our uh, kitchen and our butchery area are now at minus four, minus six. Everything in here should remain refrigerated, frozen, won't spoil. That means our meals will be safe. Everything's running on wood, of which we have a decent stockpile actually going on, and a bit more I have to bring inside. Uh, I think next episode, though, we're going to start putting wooden traps around doors and, you know, so we can lure people into things. And what what the? Visitors? Ooh, please tell me you've got something good on you. They got 30 beer on them. Oh, yes. Yes, we need that for Janeway. If Janeway doesn't get her hands on some beer, she's probably going to start having mental breaks. And a little bit of beer lying around the place is not the worst thing. A plus 10 mood bonus for most of the day. You know, for example, Picard, what's their mm, wake-up withdrawal? Yeah, we might need a few beers for Picard as well. I wonder how long that lasts. I know it's been modified recently, so withdrawal 23%. I don't know how long this takes to go on. It used to be like 20, 30 days. Um, you know, let me have a quick look at the wiki. 
Hmm. Wiki says, still says 30 days. I thought drugs were patched to be slightly different, but hmm, that may not be the case just yet. But yeah, we're going to grab some beer off them and we're going to use that to keep our pawns happy. But I think I think this was a good first day. We got quite a decent haul of everything in and we're going to have a bunch of potatoes that should hopefully ripen? No. Become harvestable next next soon enough. Anyway, I'll put a link to, well, I'll put all the rules in the description below of what the, the 25 challenge is. It's just get 25 pawns, build a ship, get off the planet. You could also do it through the royals, but uh, I am not going to bend a knee, knee to those pasty-faced inbreds. When it comes to the royals, we're going to be a little bit antagonistic towards them. Plus, you know, that way they can attack us and we can take their stuff. You know, I'm Irish. We're not, we're not going to, we're not going to be doing very well with royalty. We, we have a little bit of a past with them, it seems. But yes, yes, hire 25 pawns, build a ship, get off the planet. For the number of pawns that survive, you get a, a point. For the amount of seasons under 50 it takes, you you get a point. I have no idea if we can get a ship and get out of here in 25 seasons. But, you know, we're going on at 25, and 25 years seemed like a little bit excessive. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed our first episode, and uh, good luck. Mm -hmm.